you see that the ring is missing this ring is missing I mean 24 a week a back order no way I'm not waiting 24 weeks I'm just pulling out of Harley Davidson over here in Bergen County Bergen Harley Davidson oh, this is really cool. oh look what we got here County Sheriff Harley on unit. They came in for a recall. Not sure what recall they have. But six bikes for a recall. What was I doing there? Uh, do you guys recall a few months ago, I did a video about uh, how the Lowrider ST has a flaw with the ring around the headlight. Every, there is not one Lowrider ST that I've heard of that actually hasn't lost that headlight uh, ring, the black uh, plastic ring. I guess it was a bad engineering, bad uh, design of that ring. Every Lowrider ST loses that ring, either loses it, or if you haven't lost it yet and you're lucky, you're probably gonna lose it in the next, uh, next few rides. In any case, I did a whole video about it and how to solve it from falling. Check it out at the end of this video. I'm gonna link it, or there's a link down over here on the top. A lot of you guys uh, were actually suggesting, and rightfully so, uh, to go to Harley because apparently uh, when the bike is still under warranty and it's a, it's a flaw in design, it's a defect in design, whatever you wanna call it, Harley covers it. Harley covers that part if you lost it or broke or whatever. Would Harley uh, honor the warranty? So I went over to Harley Bergen County to see, you know, either order a part and pay the $8 for it if they have it, if they're not going to honor the warranty, or they'll, you know, they'll come through and say, yeah, it's it's under warranty and we'll, uh, we'll take care of it. So I went over. <laughs> Let me eat. Pico, let me eat. The guys from Harley, Bergen Harley Davidson just called me. They actually have the part in stock. Told me to come down nine o'clock in the morning, put the new one on. Should be good. Show you what it looks like at the end. This is going to be really efficient. I'm happy with this uh, outcome, but let's see what happens tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Shush, shush, let me eat. Let me eat. Why can't I eat? I'll give you at the end, okay? This is people's food. You see that the ring is missing. This ring is missing. So I'm going over to Harley now. They told me to come at nine o'clock and they're gonna take care of me. It's uh, 30 degrees now. I'm not wearing my uh, pants because it's a. Uh, I'm not wearing my heated gear, my heated pants, because it's uh, a short ride. But I'm wearing my upper and my heated gloves. There's no other way to do it. Yeah. Hook up over here. That's the only thing I don't like about the the heated gear with the gloves. Look how silly it looks with the friggin' cord sticking out but whatever keeps me warm I don't care there you go so guys uh, you hear the pipe the tap performance well soon it's going to be sounding a whole, a whole lot different because I'm putting a cam in, a camshaft. I'm putting the 3030 
or the 475 you guys know that that's what's been uh been on the list and i have a i don't know if it's a surprising uh exhaust but it's going to be a two into one and it's going to sound wicked really really cool i promise you that i have things figured out the parts are on, on order already a lot of the items are in back order but in the next few weeks we should be having we should have all the parts uh, ready to install and uh, and some cool thing is we'll be doing the install with Nadal but we'll be doing it at Tor Custom Cycles which is cool so he's got tons of cool machinery and and tools that Nadal and I don't have in our garage so we'll be doing it over there and they're obviously a certified a certified shop so it's gonna be really cool we're gonna have a series of a build of this 117 stage 2 it's gonna be and we're gonna have uh, dyno tuning over there as well so it's gonna be really really cool stay tuned for that the next few weeks so yeah some background I'm heading over right now to Bergen Harley Davidson uh, ever Ever since I put out the video with uh, the plastic ring that goes around the headlight keeps falling off the lowrider STs, whether if it's a flawed design or a, a flawed uh, manufacturing process, it happens uh, pretty much to almost every every lowrider ST. And if it hasn't happened to you, well, it's just a matter of time it's going to happen to you as well. And for those of you that have the new 2023 Loader Rider ST and you're just seeing this uh, video, this channel, so I have a whole video of how to fix it or how to prevent it from happening. So I'm heading over to Harley because you guys, thank you so much. Some of you guys uh, actually wrote down by the comments that Harley harley stands behind in war their warranty and acknowledge this being a defect or a fault uh, design or whatever and under warranty the part simply fell off so they actually honor their warranty and you can go over to harley and they'll replace that part that plastic ring now you know that plastic ring is eight dollars that's all it is but uh, actually yesterday um, when I went to Harley so you know what everybody keeps telling me just go get yours uh, replaced because mine actually fell and was run over by I guess hundreds of cars and I when I got home I just realized that it fell off and I went went uh, to where I remembered feeling something going on something wrong and I actually found it on the side of the road like all scuffed up and battered so I was able to like kind of bend it bend it back to into shape but it's still all scratch and shit and stuff so I just you know what you guys said go to Harley so I just did that I went over to Harley uh, to figure out if they're if they'll honor their uh, warranty and they did so initially they're like yeah set an appointment and bring over your bike and I said what Are you kidding me it's a it just slap it on it takes two seconds why should why should I even bother just you know what just give me the part I'll pay for it eight dollars and then and that's it and the guy comes over the manager and says you know what it doesn't make sense that you should be setting up an appointment and and you shouldn't be also paying eight dollars when it's under warranty just come over we'll order the part take your phone number the minute the part is in we'll give you a call and you just come over and uh, we'll put it on that's ah, perfect so I got home two hours later they called me up he said we actually have that part in stock so come over tomorrow first thing in the morning nine o'clock in the morning let's open her up Woo! come on uh, nine o'clock in the morning first thing and we'll put it on your bike so that's where I'm heading right now if they come through and it works out, uh, I give you kudos. Good for you, Harley, for uh, for honoring and standing behind your warranty. That's pretty cool. 
If uh, any one of you is in the New Jersey area, you recognize this place. We're on 17 South, going towards Bergen Harley Davidson. It's a nice day. It's it's, it's really cold, but there's not a not a cloud in the sky. Let me tell you something. I've on Instagram and on on internet, or like on YouTube, I get to see a lot of you know new items, new products coming out. There's a windshield uh, by obviously the stock the stock windshield that comes with the bike. It's I think it's a four or six inch. It's it's nice, but it's it doesn't give you any like gives you uh, minimal wind protection. You still if you're anything over five nine five eight five nine. At these speeds, like at 70 already, there's a helmet, you know, wind buffeting, your helmet is all over the place. Not hysterical, but it's not as nice as you'd want it to be. So I switched over to the Harley. The Harley uh, tall windshield, that's what you see right now, and it's great. It is simply great. I love the tint on it, which is like minimal tint, and I told you why I like it, because, you know, the, the camera, the camera view, and then I've seen a lot of aftermarket uh, manufacturers trying to come out with a different design. I know uh, Clockworks uh, came out with uh, an improved design with a flare, but from reviews that I've seen other people are reviewing it, it's good, but it's better than stock, but it still doesn't eliminate the buffeting. So with me, I'm staying with the 10 over here, the 10 inch over here, the tall Harley, until somebody comes out with a uh, Maybe a shorter, but with a flare. If it's two inches shorter and it has a flare and it works just as good as the 10, then I'll consider it. Otherwise, I'm staying with this because this is great. It just, just, do, it just does the job great. Boy, I can't wait for the cam upgrade. <laughs> when I bought the bike, I wasn't sure if I'm if it's a smart idea to do a cam immediately or wait out the warranty and there were a lot of rumors and conversations online of people saying that uh, all the covid covid era uh, bikes the 2020s and up were suffering for from uh, bad manufacturing and i don't know a lot of defects a lot of uh i don't know maybe it's just a rumor but i said you know what you get a Harley, a new Harley, you get a gift. Part of the uh, purchase of a premium bike, a two-year guarantee. Why would you void that the minute you get out of the, out of the shop? Why would you like, especially with, uh, you know, the reliability issues lately. So I said, you know what? It's a smart idea just to keep the warranty for a while at least, till I can see the bike is running right and so I was like, okay, let me let me ride it for a year, put a few few thousand miles on it, make sure that everything runs just good, and that's where that's where we're at. I think I'm close, getting close to three thousand uh, miles on the bike, almost a year. So it's about time to to upgrade upgrade that cam. Been doing a lot of research um, and hearing uh, the different power at outputs and sound coming out of this bike and uh, the final contenders are uh, the SNS 475 and the racing 3030 I've heard them heard some setups with the nice pipes on sound really good and the performance is amazing I was also considering an HPI exhaust but there's currently 24 months i mean 24 week a back order no way i'm not waiting 24 weeks uh we're close to harley i think we're there a little bit early let's see i need to set up the time i forgot how to do that my time my clock isn't How you doing? Oh, look at that sport glide. Stand over here in the sun. Yeah. 
Okay, let's see. Let's see them do their thing, Harley. Small hint, there's something different over there in that part of the bike. That's it, let's see. What? It's the first time actually that I've been, that I've ever serviced my bike with Harley. They're going through a full walk around. I don't know why. All I need is the plastic ring, but it, I guess that's part of the sequence. Um, let's see what happens. So it was just in the offices to do to fill out a, a work order, uh, paperwork, and they're going to work on it now. Uh, I figured out why they were walking around. Well, if they're going to take it into the shop, they want to make sure what it looked like before, uh, that there's no damage. Because if something happens and after I claim, hey, you did this and this, at least they have some kind of documentation that uh, it was previously uh, damaged or whatever. There goes Grey Ghost. Not allowed in. That's strange. I didn't ask, but I'm not allowed in, I guess. Uh, is it worth the time and effort for an $8 piece? Let them do it or buy it yourself. We'll know very soon. There you have it. The whole thing was like five minutes. That's it. So that was a quick in and out. Five minutes literally just to put the ring on. I don't know if they put it any other way. When I get home, I'm gonna uh, secure it with uh, with the two-sided tape inside so it does gets a little bit more friction. So Bergen, Harley Davidson, kudos. Great, great guys. Thank you for honoring the warranty. It was really fast. Five minutes, the bike was in and out. Go through the paperwork. Well, what can you do? That's part of the procedures and the you know, the process with a uh, warranty claim, whatever. Uh, is it worth the time and effort? Well, I was lucky. I did everything because like they sent me an appointment yesterday. First thing, I was the first bike in. Five minutes in, five minutes out, and the ride here was fun, so it was worth my time. For $8, you might just decide to buy the, the item online and just skip, skip the whole process, but that's up to you. I'm really happy with... Uh, Harley coming through. That's it for now. Uh, that's it for now, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. I'm Sandy watching Holy Shift till the next video. Peace out. Okay, guys, I'm riding back from Harley after dealing with the ring, the trim ring around the headlight under warranty. They fixed it. Everything is cool. Let's talk tour packs. Lowrider ST. It's a sports touring bike.